Hi there, this is Vic at Four Seasons. I have people asking me, how do you plant your hanging baskets and when do you plant your hanging baskets? Well, actually they're planted over a period of time, depending on the size and how many we need and which crops they are. So today we wanna show you a little bit about how we do them. And we talked a little bit before when they came in, this is a flat of rooted cuttings or liners, if you will. They look about like that. And as we prepare our baskets, um, we just, I use my fingers and I, I will plant, push, push holes in there. The ladies that help me sometimes have to use two fingers because their fingers are a little bit smaller, but we just put holes in there. So you can't just push them into the ground. Um, you actually have to have a, a little hole there so that they can actually uh, not shear their roots off. And then it's just a matter of pulling these out of these little tiny cells. These are all little rooted cuttings. These are not seedlings. They're actually done by cuttings. So they're not seedlings and we plant them like that. that. That's just one variety of verbena. And it's a beautiful verbena. It's two colors. It's a lavender and white verbena. And these will be beautiful baskets for Mother's Day. We also do a lot of fuchsias. And fuchsias are a great shade plant. Um, and they come in uh, in liners also. The only thing with these is after I made these holes, uh, you actually put a couple more into these because they take a little, bit, a little bit more to fill out. So we'll actually, we just pull these out like this. And once again, just placing them in the hole is a good idea. You can't just shove them because you'll, you'll strip the roots right off. So these will be beautiful, have big flowers on them, red and white flowers about that big that just hang down out of the hanging baskets. And these are, this is a, a really, really nice uh, shade plant. Uh, and they like it cool. So up in the high country, this is a even better plant up in the high country. So we're putting five in those, in those couple of baskets of fuchsias. Now we're gonna move over here and plant some petunias. And the reason we use a white basket uh, for petunias is because um, of the coloration of the petunias. Uh, they're such a pretty purple and white color that the white basket makes them pop a little bit more than the green basket. So I've been doing it that way for years. Uh, there's, that's the only reason they're, they're white baskets as opposed to, to green baskets. Once again, rooted cuttings of these are petunias. Once again, these are not seedling petunias. You can't buy these in a six pack. These are just a, a cutting petunia. Actually, these are, these, these are coming in like this um, from a place up in Denver who, who propagates them. And the cuttings themselves actually come off from offshore. They actually come from Central America. And they're flown in and they're rooted and then they're sent down here to us. So they just go like that. Um, about about four in a hanging basket uh, for those particular petunias. So now lots of people love calabricoas. So I want to show you some. This is a this is a 14 inch basket. This is a basket that has twice the volume of a 12 inch basket. So even though it's only a two inch difference as far as the width, it holds a tremendous amount more soil. And of course, what I, I failed to mention when I started that all of these. Uh, baskets full of soil have polymer in them and the polymer is just what you find in baby diapers and it really holds a lot of moisture and it's a great additive to the soil. So then I'm going to reach over here and just grab some of the cuttings of these and once again we're just going to drop those in at random. And this particular basket that I'm doing is going to be red, white, and blue. So that's one of our, our most favorite combinations is putting red, white, and blue in a basket like that. Now, the other thing people ask is why do I plant them all in a circle rather than one in the middle? The one in the middle, if these other ones start to grow in, the one in the middle can get strangled out. So if you put them all around the outside, they all get the equal chance to grow and be beautiful. And once again, these baskets for Memorial Day uh, will be spectacular and hanging down and nice and full, red, white, and blue. We plant lots of different color combinations. I just planted a couple things here tonight but we plant many, many, many different color combinations. So if you find something that you like, hopefully, when you come see us. Thank you.